Hey Dating Masses, Michael here with IDidAdvice.com. Today's topic, tips for dating girls from other religions. There are billions of people in this world, which means at least millions of compatible girls for you to date, at least a couple million. And whether you travel the globe or you travel your town, it's more likely than not that at some point you're going to meet girls from other religions, other than yours, the one you grew up with. Religious difference can be one of the most eye-opening and diversifying dating experiences you could ask for. While some people may shy away from something like someone from a different faith, I totally encourage it. So let's jump right in and discuss some tips for dating girls from other religions. And this isn't any particular religion. I'm not going to tell you how to date Muslim girls or how to date Hindu girls or how to date Christian girls, Jewish girls. It doesn't matter. The only thing that we're keeping in mind here is that someone comes from a different religious background than you do. Tip one, never be outwardly offensive. This one should go without saying, but you never know sometimes kind of what you're saying until, you know, the context, until it's said. Um, And once you say something, you can't take it back. Be careful not to offend the girl's feelings when you speak when it comes to her religion, uh, to her faith. There is a certain level of sensitivity that can make conversation on the topic of religion much smoother, so try to be sensitive. If you do not necessarily agree with her belief, that's okay. You're entitled to that. Um, It's okay to voice your opinion if she's asking. But if you have nothing nice to say or you're unwilling to listen when she wants to speak about it, then it might be best to keep your opinion to yourself. Tip two, show your tolerance for her beliefs and for the beliefs of her family. This one extends past just her and will influence. Um, Religion is something that families frequently share. So don't be the guy that won't go to church or temple or synagogue with your girlfriend just because you share a different religion. I'm not saying you should go every week or every day and pray to her God. But I'm saying that it can show that you're supportive of her if you attend her place of worship if she asks you to. If she says, I'd really like for you to come check out what it is that I do, the beliefs that I follow feel and follow. Um, Also, if her family is religious as well, being supportive of your girlfriend or the girl that you're seeing and her family's beliefs shows that you have the virtue of tolerance, which regardless of religion is an important characteristic. Tip three, if religion is a big part of either one of your lives, it can be helpful to talk about how your views and values are similar to hers and, and also how they differ. Just talking can help you to be both on the same page, even if you don't necessarily share the exact same faith. Most religions share some sort of common ground and set forth uh, moral codes and values to live by, and that may just be something you could bond over. Tip four, it's not a big deal. That's tip four, okay? It's, in today's world, religion doesn't play the same role it once did, um, at least generally speaking. So. Religion is a personal decision, and it's your decision. You know, your decision shouldn't necessarily negatively affect the people that you love or the people you spend your time with. It's a decision of you to be a believer in your faith. So you shouldn't necessarily try to, uh, I mean, don't ever try to force your beliefs upon somebody. Try to remain as open to the beliefs of others as you would want them to be to your beliefs. You can date a girl without ever knowing her religion. To some people, it's just not a big deal. Others will want to talk about it at some point, and that's okay too. Always be honest with your girlfriend and with yourself. Oftentimes, differences in beliefs can make us closer in the long run. All right, Dating Masses, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to get a new dating advice video each and every week. We welcome your questions and comments, and as always, we reply absolutely free. (laughs) We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.